This is question 7. We're told a company which is making 200 mobile phones each week plans to increase its production. The number of mobile phones produced is to be increased by 20 each week from 200 in week 1 to 220 in week 2 to 240 in week 3 and so on until it's producing 600 in week n. In part A we're asked to find the value of n. The question carries two marks. If we consider now the first term A, that's going to be 200. The common difference is going to be D and D is going to be 20. So we have the information here. All I'm going to use is A sub N is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. This will find us any term in an arithmetic sequence. We're told now that 600 is the number of mobile phones produced in week N. So we'll have 600 will be equal to 200 and then we're going to have plus N minus 1 multiplied by the common difference of 20. Subtracting the 200 from both sides, we'll have 400 will be equal to 20 multiplied by N minus 1. Dividing both sides by 20, we have 20 will be equal to N minus 1. Adding 1 to both sides, we can see that N is 21. So two marks in total for part A. The company then plans to continue to make 600 mobile phones each week. We're asked in part B to find the total number of mobile phones that will be made in the first 52 weeks, starting from and including week one. The question carries five marks. With this question, we need to split it into two parts. I'm going to sum from week number one to week 21, and then add 31 lots of 600. After we hit 600, each week we're going to simply produce 600 phones. So what we're going to do is look at the sum from R equals 1 to 21 plus we're going to have now the 31 times by 600. If we just consider all this is now are the remaining weeks up to the end of the year that we need to add 600 each time. So let's go ahead and look at the sum. If we take the first term the first term is 200. The number is going to be 21, and the last term is going to be 600. We can use the sum of n terms of an arithmetic series to sum this lot up. So the sum of n terms is n over 2 a plus l, where a is the first term and l is the last term. So we can say the sum of the first 21 terms will be 21 over 2, we will have 200 plus 600. So all I'm doing is simply substituting these in. So we've got the sum of the first 21 terms is going to be 21 over 2, and we'll have 800. So dividing the 800 by 2 and multiplying now by the 21, we can say the sum of the first 21 terms is going to give me 8,400. So all I'm going to do is take this now and add it to 31 times by 600. So if we do that, what we're going to have then now is 8,400. And if I just multiply it now 31 by 600, I'm going to get 18,600. Adding these two together, that's going to be a total of 27,000. So final answer for five marks, we're going to end up now with 27,000. So all I've done is summed the first 21 terms of the arithmetic series and then added 31 lots of this constant number of 600. There are a number of different ways that you can do part B. This is just one example. As long as you get 27,000 with adequate workings, you will be given the five marks.